don't know. It's like, no offense, he's not my dad. He shouldn't try and act like a dad. Country music? Oh, look, a memory. Dad loved this song. Am I dreaming? Because clearly that's William in the front. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Yeah, this is a memory. I can this? tell. This? This isn't right. Or a nightmare. I'm having a nightmare. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Is she dissociating? Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Whoa. Yeah, she's having a nightmare. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Yeah, that was a horrible nightmare. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. I'm here hello, at school. Hello, Black Hell. No, I'm pretty curious to see what school's like before Max came here, so... I can sense her depression pretty well from here. I definitely sympathize with Corey. At the same time, though, Joyce and um, David does have a few points. Wow, look at Blackwell. I I never imagined being back to this school again. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Talking people about what exactly? Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Press and hold R2 to view your objective. R2. Okay. Get DVD from Steph? What? You mean to tell me in order for me to look at my objective, I have to look at Chloe's hand? Come on, Chloe. Anyways, before I do anything else, lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. L-M-A-O-O. -O. Typical Read high school DVD ass shit. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. 
Hold on, let me look at this board wolf quickly. I want to see something. Eh. Well, at least not for now. New, new, new. Sci-fi movie club meets 5.30 Wednesdays. New to the genre? Let us introduce you to the classics. Have a movie suggestion? See Warren. <gasps> Warren? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this kid. Warren, the same guy in part one where Max meets and Warren has like a fat ass crush on Max. Wow, this is insane. Okay. Okay. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Drugs, they will mess you up. Dude, what kind of a poster is this? That doesn't look like someone who's taking drugs. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. The Tempest? Is that that Shakespeare play? We got a security guard right over there. Checking. Wait, what's this? Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, I'm on my way. Right. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. I hate schools with their stupid, cliche quotes. Yo, Victoria? Like, part one Victoria? Look at her. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Wait a minute, so she's still the same asshole from part one? Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Wow. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. And she's pompous. Say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Dude, why do you care about who, who I was hanging out with last night, weirdo? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. Exactly. Look at it's her. It's on Facebook. Okay. I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? What? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. You know? Excuse I mean, me, Victoria? Look at your face. What? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. She oh, like Rachel? She loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. Oh, that's what's happening right now. Are you, gotcha. Victoria? Oh, God, I don't have time for this. Oh, now you I didn't don't. Even finish the chemistry assignment. Oh, and, now you don't. Or being you. Oh. Ugh. Anyways. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? Oh, look at her being salty, it's bro. It's Chloe. I don't think she likes Rachel. I think. Based off of the first Life is Strange, Victoria, Victoria is an attention whore. She loves being the center of everything. And whenever the focus is not on her, that's when she low-key stuff. I bet she's out. nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Don't forget, yep, get DVD from Steph. Samantha? Samantha Myers school wallflower she could give you a run for your money max hey chloe hey samantha what are you reading who's afraid of virginia wolf i read that last year in mrs hoyda's english class i didn't think you did homework <laughs> do people I don't, think but chloe the play was actually good doesn't did you do like anything about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. 
Anyway, so typical cheerleader behavior. Yeah, Victoria, she she likes to do that. And also, this is Samantha chick. I'm just curious. She wanted to compliment Chloe, but at the same time, she held back her comment. Flowers. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Hey Trish, I bet you're ready for some for summertime, huh? I bet you're ready for summer break already. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Next. Heaven's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. The dangers of forest fires by Evan Harris. Nice. That is so cool. Wait, go luck seniors. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. Hey, yo, she really hates this school. I can tell. But then again, based off of part one, I could see why. This school is so toxic. What, the hell? what have you got here? Twitch? Don't Tw call me that. True. Wait. North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow! Wait, 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 this wait. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks. Yes, I do. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. What? How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Damn! Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Yo! My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know that... something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. He's gonna throw it in the You're in the well. Piece of shit! I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Why me? I just stand there watching. Why do I have to do some? You know what? Screw the it. only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, uh, idiot. All right, Chloe. What the hell did you just say to me? She called you an idiot, idiot. Prescott is dangerous. My thing is... Wait, hold on. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. He got money. Yeah, he does. He has a lot of money. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then look at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? Are you crazy? Mind your own business, freak. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? That's right, Chloe, get him! You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. Damn, Chloe, you're wild for that. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. That's right, Chloe. Put him in, put did him in his place. Laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You Look shut at, the fuck up. Ooh, feisty. Go, Samantha. Yes, Samantha. Go, Samantha. Guess yes, you got queen. lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Oh, uh, his manhood was Take your threatened. Pervy picture book. Pervy picture book. Are you Nathan, okay? what the hell you do you have in there? From you? Are you dead ass You're serious, welcome. my boy? Are You're you pissed right? off that I helped you? You dirty Thanks little. Thanks for sticking up nah. for him. People think just because of his family. Gray, the security guard's coming. What the hell do you want now? Okay here? Dude, everything's <laughs> over. No problem, Skip. You came mad late. Skip your ass out of here. 
How are you gonna come after everything's said and done and be like, yo, is everything okay over here? Shut your, shut your mouth. I don't like how we left things. We'll talk more tonight. Yeah. Perfect. Is that sarcastic perfect? No. Wow, I feel bad for Chloe. Here's the thing. You guys definitely need to catch up on my last couple of episodes because the thing is, Chloe and the mom had like a big fight because Chloe thinks that the mom is simply replacing her dead dad with mom's latest boy toy while Joyce is simply learning how to move on from the death of her husband. And yeah, you know how typical mom and daughter clash goes. Okay, but here's the thing. It's so weird how in this series, Nathan Prescott gets bullied. But in part one, he's the one that is slinging his gun around, killing people, and basically getting people on drugs. I don't know what happened. I don't know what type of 360 that was, but hopefully we'll be able to see it in this Maybe if I delay game. going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Chloe, shut, shut up, Chloe. So I can't even go over here. Okay. So where is it exactly? Hold on. I totally forgot where... No, not Max. Where, where, where's Steph? Picnic tables. They're at the picnic tables. But the question is, where's the picnic table? Dormitories, main building, athletic field. You know what? Picnic tables. I'm gonna go over- Wait! They're over there. Okay. Nice. But seriously, though, it's just so weird how Nathan Prescott is, like, at the bottom of the food chain. But then again, we are at a point where this is, like, the beginning of when the family first moved to Arcadia Bay. And Need they're, like, DVD buying everything stuff. off. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Chloe, you've been saying that for the past five minutes, bro. Chill. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North. Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. You know what? With this economy, I might as well do the same. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? What? Come on! Why is everyone shitting on Chloe lately? Whether if it's school or even social, like, come on, give her a chance. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. I'm not even surprised Chloe Sweet. wanted the Blade Runner. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Wow. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. That's a sad motto. I know. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Yo, are people assuming that they're, you know... Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, Steph, you should join her game. You like Rachel yeah. Amber? I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. Damn, Damn that's still long. That is still a long... You know what? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow. You're calling me an you elf barbarian? 
All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon. A Wait, are they playing D and D? Now laid to waste by the I guess so. raiders of the Black I guess it's their own well. version of D and D. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, this is Def D &D. wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernal. Is that the elf Introduce barbarian? Oh my god, it is! Yeah, okay. That's cute! Uh, I'm an elf barbarian. Name. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 this one, this one, this one. Calamastia. Yeah! Super so into it. Not Thank bad. you. Thank you. I Your know y'all were impressed. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Really? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. And what? Yo, look at his face. He's shook. At a three -way crossing. <laughs> He's to shook. Your left, the Raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Wow. Where do you wish to go? This is this is a choice. Training ground, prison camp, warlord's tent. I say let's free the prisoners. Guess the more it's the time merrier. To free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He oh, notices no. you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Uh, what a dumbass. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering so he's Got cursing me out spells in that robe of yours nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it okay so that's a no why is ava trying to stand on my back right now ava's trying to give you a back massage that's why intimidate that's a skill i have can i do that i want the little bastard to shit his pants calm down Chloe. what do you say listen up you little lizard unfortunately he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Thank you, Shit. bro. Really? Now yep. he can understand every word you say. Good. Time Let's go, to Chloe. Work some real magic. So That's right, this Chloe. This is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. Okay. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head. Damn, and then Chloe. I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. That's morbid. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron much taller and meaner than you. What? You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. The uh, dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. 
I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's I know, I'm happened. excited. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does Damn. that sound? Damn! Look at her face! Uh, Look at his face! Wow. <laughs> that Yo. was nuts. Damn, Chloe. Dude, that's... Plus 10 bonus to charisma. That's what I Go said, ahead and too. Holy shit. A small shit. pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Wow, awesome. he yeah. died of fear. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Wow, Chloe went in on that guy. You know what? I feel like my girl is definitely a Chloe, because she be going in on people like that. All right, let's go to the training ground. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. OK. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. Yes! There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like yes. more wax. Mwahaha! Oh, yes! That's you sick! See I love I it! Really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Oh, now you need help. Now you need help. Okay. So in that case... Okay. Let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well... As the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Come yeah. on, man! You messed up all of our prizes! You suck! My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. Wait, wait for real? Is that candy? What's next? Well, let's do the tent. It's Come on. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Why did you, why do you sound lands like that? and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I, I agree. This. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. No! Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Well, Except looks like for, you need a you partner know, all the time. Acid blast which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Wah, wah. What'll it be? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.